to be operational by the beginning of 2024. In a follow-up to a story WDHN brought you last week, a Kansas-based transformer manufacturing plans to make a $5 million investment in Western Coffee County. Yeah, in fact, Amanda, it's one of the largest production facilities planned for Elba since the domestic textile industry was the area's major employer before the NAFTA agreement led to those jobs moving overseas in the 1990s. Sunbelt Solomon, based in Solomon, Kansas, plans to invest $5 million in an old moving storage building on Industrial Boulevard in Elba. The facility will repair and store electric transformers that are located on power poles. By locating in the south, Elba Mayor Tom Maddox says it'll be closer to the company's customer base. Hurricanes, tornadoes, and bad weather has led to thousands of transformers being put out of service in just the last few years. We had a lot of conversations with the gentleman from uh, uh, Pennsylvania and uh, he liked Elba. He really uh, thought that the, the people were the kind of people that he'd like to be uh, uh, associated with and we felt the same way toward him. Some 30 years ago in the 1990s, the North American Free Trade Act, otherwise known as NAFTA, would send thousands of wiregrass textile jobs overseas. Elba was not excluded. Certainly hope that we'd have um, people to at least look into working here from Brantley, Hop, Enterprise, New Brockton, Kinston, uh, surrounding areas, that would be great. Uh, we have a lot of people from Elba who drive out of town to work. We're hoping that maybe some of them will choose to um, cut the driving time and stay here to work. With job opportunities spanning from $18 to $37 per hour, a local business recruiter says the plant will offer 45% higher than the annual salary range for manufacturing jobs in Coffee County. And although no specific date has been set, Sunbelt Solid